Hello everyone! Welcome to Bahay Aralan. For this video, we will learn about the past progressive tense or past continuous form of verbs. What do we mean by this form of verbs? Past progressive or past continuous is formed with the past tense of the verb to be, was, or were, plus the ing form of the verb or its present participle. Was plus the present participle is used if the subject in the sentence is singular or only one, while were plus the past participle form of the verb is used if the subject in the sentence is plural or more than one. Let's have some examples. For the verb come, its past progressive or past continuous form is was coming if the subject is singular or only one and were coming if the subject is plural or more than one. How about bring? Its past progressive form is was bringing for singular subject and were bringing for plural subject. Now, when do we use the past progressive form of verbs in sentences? First, we use this form of the verb if there is an ongoing action or activity in the past. When another action or activity took place and interrupted it. For example, Lisa was doing the laundry when her husband arrived. As you can see, there was already an action that was going on when another thing happened and interrupted it. That is why the past progressive form, which is was doing, is used. The be verb was is used because the subject is singular, which is Lisa. You should also take note that in this example, the verb of the second event is in the simple past tense. Only the verb in the first event is in the past progressive form. Because this is the only action that was going on for a period of time. Okay? Another example. Dina and Diane were washing the dishes when the door opened. The past progressive tense of the verb in the sentence is were washing. And were is used because the subject is plural, Dina and Diane. And as you can notice, there was already an ongoing event when something else happened. And again, only the action in the first event is in the past progressive form. The action in the second event is in the simple past. Is it clear? We also use the past continuous form of the verb for two actions that were happening at the same time in the past. For example, while Nikki was reviewing for the exam, Luke was talking to his friend noisily. In this case, the two events were happening at the same time in the past. So, both verbs are in the past progressive form. Okay? Another one. The parents were preparing for the picnic area while their children were carrying the food packs. The verbs in the past progressive form in this sentence are were preparing and were carrying. Both verbs are in the past progressive tense because the two actions were happening at some point in the past and at the same time. Is it understood? Past progressive tense of the verb is also used to tell what was happening at a precise time in the past. For example, at 6 o'clock, I was taking a shower. The verb in the past progressive form in this sentence is was taking. And as you can see, the sentence tells what was going on at a specific time, which is 6 o'clock. Right? That is why the verb used is in the past progressive form. Another example. Yesterday at this time, I was sitting at my desk at work. The past progressive verb in the sentence is was sitting. And the sentence tells what was happening at an exact time yesterday. That is why the past progressive tense is used. The last case wherein we can use the past progressive tense of the verb 
is when it tells an event that continued for a period of time in the past. For example, he was sleeping all night long. The verb in the past progressive form in this sentence is was sleeping. And as you can see, the action continued for a period of time, all night long, right? Another one. I was sitting on the edge of my seat during the movie. The past progressive verb in the sentence is was sitting. And as you can observe, it describes an action or activity that was going on for a period of time in the past during the movie. Now let us have an activity. Choose the sentence that uses the past progressive form of the verb correctly. Number 1. A. Jose drove his car when his phone was ringing. B. Jose was driving his car when his phone rang. C. Jose was driving when his phone was ringing. Let us say that in this case, there was already an ongoing event when another one took place. So, the answer is B. The first event has to take the past progressive form and the second event has to take the simple past form. Number 2. A. I was lying on the bed while I was reading. B. I was lying on the bed while I read. C. I lied on the bed while I was reading. For this case, let us say that the two events were going on at the same time in the past. So, the answer is A. Both of them must take the past progressive tense of the verb. Next, A. At midnight, we were still driving through the desert. B. At midnight, we were still driving through the desert. C. At midnight, we still driving through the desert. The answer is A. Why? Because the subject is plural, which is we. So the verb to be should be were, not was. By the way, this sentence tells that the action was happening at the precise time in the past. Another one. A. The author were writing a self-help book. B. The author writing a self-help book. C. The author was writing a self-help book. The correct sentence is sentence C. Why? Because the subject in the sentence is singular, author. So was should be used. This tells that an event was happening at some time or for a period of time in the past. Last one. A. When the fire broke out, the old lady was cooking in the kitchen. B. When the fire was breaking out, the old lady was cooking in the kitchen. C. When the fire was breaking out, the lady cooked in the kitchen. For this case, let us say that an event was still ongoing when another one happened. So, the answer is sentence A. The ongoing event should take the past progressive tense of the verb, and the second event has to take the simple past form. Is it understood? That said, that would be all for this video. Thank you for watching. Take care.